Mangla sir, we are extremely interested in knowing your experiences at the University of Columbia, New York, the Rockefeller Foundation Scholarship and your works there. You had the rare honor of being the Vice President of International Federation of Library Association and Institutions, IFLA, during 1985 to 1991. Please tell us something about your association with IFLA. Also. Uh, thank you, Salman. And let me. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that you are asking me about uh, Columbia University. As I mentioned earlier, that this was my aim to be studying at Columbia University if I was to continue teaching in the field of library science. As I mentioned earlier, Columbia Library School was established in 1887 by Manuel Dewey himself and was considered to be most prestigious and my experience at Columbia University as a student was really something to be remembered. And uh, I found that the prominent teachers of the world such as Maurice Tauber, Carl White, Professor Marty Tobi, they were among the prominent teachers and I must say that it was a great experience of life after having been a student of Dr. Ranganath and the Delhi University. And then to be a student at Columbia University was something like a continuation in my education under prominent teachers and I really feel proud about it. So far as my association with IFLA is concerned, it will be interesting to mention and difficult to believe that it was for the first time in 1962 on my return journey from America that I attended the IFLA conference at Bern in Switzerland and this was my first attachment with IFLA as such. Later on, sometime in 1981, I was invited by IFLA to be one of the speakers at their seminar to be held at Manila. And from that time onwards, my association with IFLA became more closer and also we started having more collaboration with the people, not only working in IFLA, but also all over the world. Sometime in 1985, I was invited to be one of the speakers at Chicago IFLA conference. And this is at that time that I was elected as a member of the board of management of IFLA. And it is at that time after attending their programs that I was elected as vice president and in that capacity I continued up to 1991. I must say here that IFLA certainly is a highly professional body at the international level and I really feel proud that I was holding a senior position in that organization and it was at that time that I came in touch with prominent people from all over the world and that helped me a great deal. And I must tell my friends in the profession in the country that having association with bodies such as IFLA and in those days there was FID also was something of an experience which everyone should try. But before I close uh, my attachment with IFLA, I must also add one thing, Salman, that I was president of Indian Library Association during 1981 and 1983. I must add that I was uh, one of the youngest person to become president of Indian Library Association. And during those two years, I must say that we were able to 
do quite a prominent work for the development of library profession in the country along with association of other professional associations and that I really feel proud about. Thank you.